Hey everybody, welcome to my Halloween TBR. It has been a while since I've been at TBR and I do apologise for my absence. I was just going through some work things. They're still present, but I really wanted to do all my October videos that I have planned because Halloween makes everything extra fun. <laughs> Um, so we're here to do my book TBR, um, during the month of September I bought two books for that TBR and the rest are just selections from my to read shelf over there. Um, now I only average about two or three books a month so those ones that I don't get to all the time, I always just put back onto my to-do shelf or when I do get to them. So, let me just move Mr. Pumpkin. I'll put him here so we can get to our books. So, um, one book that I particularly really, really wanted to read this month is... Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. It's a Disney Nightmare Before Christmas story by Shia Earnshaw, I think it's how it's pronounced. Um, I went looking for this book since its release date and it took a couple of extra weeks to get to us where I am. And um, I have already read it. It's absolutely amazing. So if you haven't read it, it's definitely a good um, read. And it's, yeah, I, I thought it was a really good place to start my October reading. Um, yeah, so I have already read this and gave it five stars, just so you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I grabbed that one at um, Big W too. It was um, cheaper there. But yeah, really good read. And I have actually started this next one. This is by Lisa Foley. Um, this is The Paris Apartment. I bought this ages ago, so it's been on my shelf for a while. I'm up to page, only page 35, so I only just started it the last night or two. Um, and I just thought it was a good vibe with the um you know the mystery and murder and stuff going on or whatever is going on <laughs> yeah so there's the murder and there's like mystery and stuff involved as well um lucy foley is also one of my favorite authors i read um the guest list last year and i loved her writing style so um definitely wanted to read more of her stuff um and one of the things it says on the back of here is that it's an agatha christie for the age of today um and it says welcome to number 12 a beautiful old apartment block deep in the back streets of mont Montre where nothing goes unseen and everybody has a story to unlock. The watchful concede, concierge, sorry, the scorned lover, the prying journalist, the student, the unwanted guest. There was a murder here last night, a mystery lies behind the door of apartment number three, and who held the key? So yeah, that's the one I'm currently on. And I'll just go back to the pumpkin queen one and I'll read the back for you. Um, the nightmare didn't end after Christmas. Sally Skeleton is the official newly pumpkin queen after a whirlwind courtship with her true love, Jack, who she adores with every inch of her fabric seams. If only she could say the same for her new role, as Queen of Halloween Town. Tasked with all sorts of duties, Sally can't help wondering if she was um, traded her captivity under Dr. Finkelstein for a different um, gilded cage. 
But then Sally and Zero, the dog, accidentally uncover a hidden doorway to an ancient realm called Dream Town. She unknowingly steps in motion a chain of sinister events that will put her future as pumpkin queen and the future of Halloween and town itself in jeopardy. Can Sally discover what it means to be her true self and save the town she has learned to call her own or will her future turn into her worst well nightmare? Yeah. Sorry about that. Now this next one I also purchased. I got this one at Kmart. It's Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. And I didn't realise before I saw it that it's actually a classic story. Um, yeah, so I grabbed this at Kmart. I thought it would be a good buy for the month. Um, and I'm going to read it after the, the current one, um, which is the Paris Department. Um, on the back, it says... As children, sisters Gillian and Sally were forever outsiders in their small New England town, teased, taunted and shunned with a sense of magic that seemed to be hanging in the air around them. All Gillian and Sally ever wanted to do was get away. Years later, tragedy brings the sisters back together. They'll find that no matter what else happens, they'll always have each other. An enchanting tale of love, forgiveness and family, Practical Magic is one of the best love novels and the basis of the classic movie. I have seen the movie but like forever ago when I was like younger, a lot younger, um, like when I was in my teens. So hopefully I'll get to watch the movie after I read it too. And then a couple that were on my shelf already. This I have not got to yet, um, which is the Midnight Library by Matt Hay, I think his name is. Between life and death, there's a library, she said, and within the library, the shelves go on forever. Every book provides a chance for another life that you could have lived, to see how things would have been if you made other choices. Would you have done anything different if you had the chance to undo regrets? Um, yeah, I'm still to get to this. I might be able to manage it this month. I'm not sure. Um, if not, I can, as I said, I'll just put those that, that I don't read back on my to-do to read shelf. Which is giant size, by the way. I really need to do a little weasley roll sometime. Um, the other one on my shelf that I still haven't got to, but that sort of links to the October vibe, is the Atlas Six by Olive Blake. Um, I still haven't got to this one yet either. It's about musician, a uh, magician. Six extraordinary magicians, five chances to win, and one secret society. Each decade, six musician magicians. Sorry, I invited to. Comp I got music on the mic because I just finished work. <laughs> but yeah, we're talking about magic, mu magic, um, people. <laughs> um, where were we? So there's six magic. People who are invited to compete for a prize, a place within the secretive society. Their custodians guard knowledge from ancient civilizations and enjoy incredible power. And here are the contenders Libby, Rose, and Nico are inseparable enemies. Both can control matter with their mind. Carissa is a telepath who can perceive the deepness of secrets and Rena understands the flow of life itself. Callum is an uh, elf who can manipulate the desires of others and then there's Christian whose powers magnify even himself. 
Following recruitment by the mysterious Atlas, they travel the society's headquarters. Here they must study um, and innovate within subject areas. And if they can prove themselves over a year, um, they'll survive. Most of them. Um, yeah, so it's been on my to reads for a while, but I probably won't get to that one. But, um, yeah, the, all the sort of Halloween vibe things that I have to read. Um, if I get through, like, these three, I would be happy. Um, yeah. I usually average, yeah, like, two or three books a month. It just depends on what else is happening. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me today in my TBR. Um, what's on your October TBR? Um, I do have some other, like, Halloween vibe books that I do want to buy for future Halloweens. So, um, yeah. I will keep an eye out for those ones. Um... Yeah, so enjoy your October reading, whatever you guys are reading. Comment below if you want what your current read is and yeah, what your October reads are. We'd like to know. It'd be nice. And um, I will see you all very, very soon in my next video. So till then, happy 